Okay, guys, welcome back. Another placemat. Now, this is the little test piece I did with the colours. Love this one so much. It's a pity you can't get the same results on a bigger thing, but I'm going to try. So, this one is the pink and orange. It's got metallic copper in it and um, black and the white cell activator. So, that's what I'm going for today. And I've got, they're all Joe Sonia's colours. This one is Napthol Red. And then to lighten it, to make it more of an orange, I added a little bit of yellow. So that's that one, the orange. And then we've got the black. We have got Transparent Magenta. There's two magentas. There's a bright magenta and the slightly darker magenta, that one. And then Metallic Copper. So those are my colours today. And the cell activator, as usual, is the Amsterdam Titanium White and the Aussie Floetrol. Three parts Floetrol, one part white. And that's what I use. Uh, when I'm swiping, I do a slightly thicker mix. Uh, two to one seems to work better for swipes. Right, so let me get my gloves on. Got my little timber placemat here ready to go. It's attached to my cake turntable, a little bit of double sided tape on the bottom there so it doesn't spin off. I've got my blower all set to go. Yep, power's on. <laughs> okay, let's get to this uh, pouring medium. I've gone through it that many times, but I'll just do it again real quick. Three parts untinted wall paint. It's kind of a creamy colour. Uh, one part Josonia's gloss varnish, one part polycrylic, and then that's mixed two parts of the pouring medium to one part Josonia's. The metallics, I find you have to thin them out just a touch, so I don't use quite as much. So if I'm using 60 grams of pouring medium, I might only put in 20 grams of metallic instead of the 30, which is two to one. And um, some of the paints, it's usually the transparent paints, tend to be a little bit thinner. So I don't add as much paint because it's the paint that makes your mixture thinner because the Joe Sonia's paints are quite thin. So if you need to thicken your paint up, you need to add a bit more of the um, untinted base. It's the only way you're going to thicken up a Joe Sonia's paint. I think that will do. Now let's put a little puddle in the middle. Because I, when I spin this, a huge amount of paint flies off, so I probably don't need, you know, too much. Put a little bit on, spread it out. Okay, let's get going. Start with the darker orangey tone. Come out. Come out, come out, wherever you are. There we go. Um, and then I'm going to go with the black. Because I want the light orange and the pink to go next to each other. So a bit of black. Um, and then orange. Now this is where I start drizzling it across so that I can still see my black underneath. Otherwise you can't, you can't see other colours if you put a big blob there on top. And then the magenta. And I'll go with a little bit more of this because I've got none of this in the middle. It's all on the outside now. And some copper. Hopefully there's enough black in there. And then I want a little bit more of the pink. Like so. And then our white. I'm going to leave the nozzle on because the last few times I've put too much on. One, two. Like, there we go. That should be enough. Mm, hopefully. All right, let's go. On cool, on low. Blow the white over the top. Let's 
see if I can get a little bit of cell action happening in here. A little bit. I always struggle when I get, I've blown everything out, out else out and then I've only got a little bit of area there and I don't want to disrupt those lacings and I don't want to disrupt these but I still want to get through the center so I always struggle with that. There's a, a long area there with no lacing <clears throat> but look that's probably the only area that's you know not going to have any lacing. The rest of it's turned out really well. Um, I'm going to spin straight away. I don't want those middle ones getting any bigger than they already are. Oh, I love that. You get that white umbrella. Oh, look at that. Okay. Now, that's the other thing. If you start to tilt um, rather than spin, you can um, sort of your cells or lacing get a bit scrunched up there. Nope, no, I can't do it left-handed. <laughs> Just trying to go the opposite way. I've got a big area here that I need to cover. So, all right, let's just do it. Spin, you baby, spin. Is that enough? Am I done? Oh, not quite. Still got a little bit of a rainbow effect. Oh, I've still got quite a lot, haven't I? Hmm, that's a shame. Let's see if I can tilt now without disrupting everything too much don't know that I'm going to get to the edges on this one see how big that one still is it's really big I don't know that I can get there because I'm going to lose you now if I have to get that much off I'm going to get that much off on this side as well it's just not going to work hmm it's a shame, isn't it? Because <clears throat> the rest of it is just amazing. It's not as pink as I would have liked. It's more of this orangey colour. I'm going to go again um, and get more pink on it and try and get a little bit more over my edges so I don't end up with that big area there because there's no way I'm going to be able to spin that off and uh, still have a, a, a good composition. <clears throat> it's just not going to work and more pink I need more pink this time I seem to always need to learn from the first one and then go again for some reason it's okay I don't mind I get to pour more and you get to watch more Woohoo! it's a good thing isn't it So I'm still at work, I'm not in isolation. <clears throat> uh, today is Sunday, the 22nd for me, but you won't see this video until, I don't know, maybe the day or two later. But yeah, everything's still good with me and my work. I'm still working at the hospital. So for now, anyway, we'll see what happens. Obviously, everyone's on a sort of wait and see basis with this COVID-19 going around all right let's do this again I won't I'll only put one layer of this on because it kind of took over didn't it I lost lost my pink I really wanted it pink a little bit of black not too much black again the black really takes over and the orange let's just let's just do Puddles, hey? Let's just do puddles for this one. And normally I don't do puddles, but I'm not going to do a puddle with the copper though. Okay. Well, that's enough paint, huh? Mm -hmm. Usually I use a little bit more paint than that. No, let's just do it. Let's see how we go. One, two, go around twice with my white. Whoops. Oh no. That 
that's very different, isn't it? That's because I did puddles. I don't know that I'm going to like that. And then I've overblown my lacing over here. I don't think I had enough paint. But we'll see. I'll, I'll, I'll still spin it. Um, maybe the other colours will come up from underneath. But I don't think I'm going to be liking that there because there's no lacing in that. If you get too close to your lacing and, and you know, blow it out, um, you stretch it all. I might try a 2 to 1 cell activator. Now I'm way off centre. I should be up here. But if I try and move it, it's just going to get all scrunched up. So I'll just have to spin it as it is. Hmm. Don't like that. <laughs> I think the first one was better, even though I couldn't get to the edges. The colours were better. I just think it looks nicer when I... I don't put puddles down. I think it's just this this here that's bothering me. The copper against the black it looks a bit icky, the colours. Icky. Yeah, it's it's you know how when you get black and yellow together, you get this baby poo greenish kind of tone? That's what that reminds me of. So I really don't like that at all. So that's the test piece I'm kind of going for. It's got a lot more black in it. This one's just a little bit more sort of wishy-washy. All right, here it comes. You know what's happening, don't you? Bye-bye. I'm going to layer the same, type, the same way as I normally do. I just get a better result than when I do puddles. Wipe that off quickly before it dries. Okay. Are you guys getting sick of me doing blooms yet? I've still got a few placemats left, so you will see a few more coming around. Um, but yeah, then I'll get back to some flip cups and swipes and different things. Where's my middle? Well, huh. I need to keep make sure I've got enough paint for my little coaster, don't I? Okay. Black. A little bit more this time. And the orange. Ziggy zaggy. And the pink. And just a little bit more of that one. And then copper. And then some more pink. Oh, where's all my black now? I better put just a woo, little tiny drizzle of black on. Because the other colours are all quite light. I think it just needs that little pop of, of black. All right, here we go. One, two. Third time lucky. Please work. get through there again. I always have trouble with that little area. No, oh, it looks as if it's oh, no it won't. It looks as if it's coming back in again. Over blew that there a little bit. Because I'm so you know trying to get my white to cover everything. It's it's hard. You just you know a couple of millimeters too close and it's gone. Oh but some cells down there. I'm going to have to clean my 
interior here. I'm going to put a new one down, I think. All right, that's looking better. I've got a lot of color variety there. I can see lots of black. I can still see some pink, which is nice. Hopefully this one will be more like my first pour, but me being able to get to the edges. See, I've only got that little bit there. Oh, but look at that. Look at my butterfly wing. It's got no lacing in it. <laughs> Can't have everything, can you? See, I don't like it when it does that, when I've got no lacing in it. Oh dear, oh dear. I think I'm going to have to just keep this one though because I'm going to run out of paint. Um, I really dislike when that happens. See if I can go a little bit stronger that way. I'm not very good at pushing it left, round to the left, anti clockwise. See, that, that bit there just really bothers me. I'm not going to be happy with it. But I like the rest of the colours. I wonder if I've got enough paint to go again. It's just this orange one I haven't got much of. Decisions, decisions, decisions. If we just don't look at that section there. I love the rest of it. The pink, again, is not showing up very much. All right, I'm going to go again. I'm just not happy with it. Now, don't let me put two lots of orange on, okay? Because the orange is taking over, that dark orange. I'll put more pink on this time and not so much of the dark orange. I need to save a little bit of paint for my coaster. Okay. Now, I don't have another clean cloth. My cloths are filthy. Oh, I'm just going to have to dirty my little bottles. Okay, there's the orange. And I'll have to keep some of that for my next pour. Is there not black? I'll do that. And then I'll do this. And then pink. See the pink's the transparent one. I'll put lots of pink on. Just a little bit of that. Um, okay, that'll do. I'm not going to put too lots of orange on. One, two. Okay. trouble spreading the white I didn't have enough white okay. I think they're opening they're they're coming together oh all right how's that one looking not having much luck with this one am I where's all my pink I don't know I really wanted lots of pink look at all this orange again I only put down one layer of orange and it was on the bottom. I only need to put some pink on the bottom. It's so usually your bottom layer and your top layer which are more dominant. You might have to put some pink on the bottom and then the dark orange. So two layers of pink maybe. But I will have to um, make up some more orange if I'm going to do that. We'll see what this looks like anyway once I've spun it out. That should go so that's not going to be too much of a problem a little bit of that should go 
I might um, make up a two to one cell activator because my lacing's breaking too much. So it's quite a thin cell activator and it is breaking. It's too orange, it's still too orange for me. I wanted it more pink. I mean, it's pretty, this one's all right. Um, but yeah, it's just too, too orange. Oh, look at that. There's a line in there. I wonder what that's from. I wonder if there's like a, a hair in there and it's pulled across. It's weird. I've never seen that before. I wonder if there's something in there. Oh, look, there is something in there. Okay, well, there goes that one. That one's going to have to go. <laughs> All right, I'm going to put you on pause. And um, I'm going to make up some more paint. And I'll see you soon. You know, while I was making up the other orange, I was looking at my colours. And I'm saying, okay, I've got orange, orange. And basically orange. So I've got three oranges and only one pink. I thought, well, I wonder I'm only getting orange coming through. So I've made up, I've just finished my bottle, I've made up the um, Brilliant Magenta. So the other one was the Transparent Magenta. Uh, uh, transparent. So this one is semi-transparent. See how the little circle's half coloured in? And it's a little bit lighter. It's not that much difference between them, but... I'll see if I can show you mm, the dirty bottles but this this is the new one it's a little bit lighter so I'm going to put two pinks in uh, and I'm going to go again okay yeah I don't know why I was thinking three oranges to one pink and I'd get a pink painting it's just not it's just not how it works is it All right, let me just wipe this real quick otherwise the house paint dries on it and then I can't get it off. Now hopefully this will be the last one you guys. Thanks for putting up with me as we go again. But you know, you have to be happy with it. It doesn't matter if other people go, no, it's lovely, keep it. You're the one that has to be happy with it. You're the one that has to live with your painting. So yeah, trust yourself. If you're not sure, scrape it, go again. It's only paint. Right, now down first goes the transparent magenta. And then the naphthol red. And some black. Well, that's enough and then the lighter orange this is the naphthol with a little bit of yellow in it and this is the new pink oops there's a hair stuck to me and some copper because copper is basically an orangey colour, isn't it? So, yeah, <laughs> three orange colours. Right, now the white. Let me get that into the middle now before I go anywhere. One, two. Oh, I was going to make up the two to one. I knew there was something else I had to do before I got you back off pause. Never mind. Spread that out a little bit. <clears throat> well, that was a weird blow, wasn't it? That was like <laughs> all over the place. What am I doing blowing up here? Well, it's certainly not going to be a bloom because it's going to have 
white areas around it. Um, broke my lacing again there and there, but hopefully this one will be pretty. Look, I can see pink, a lot more pink in it. Hopefully that pink will stay because I put it on the bottom as well as on the top. All right, wish me luck, you guys. Cross fingers. I might make up some two to one CA for the next one. I want to do pinks and greens for the next one. Um, like the um, pouring challenge at the moment on my Facebook group is pinks and greens. They're tricky colors to do, but that's why it's a challenge, hey? You, you do colours that you wouldn't normally do. Okay, still quite a lot of orange, but, you know, I've got pink. Don't like that. I've got some pink there. I'm going to go oh, the other way. No, I'm just going to go one way, I can't. I'm holding on underneath here. I'm trying to go around with my arm. I'm probably going to put my arm in it. Okay, look, that's that's the best out of all of them so far. This area here hasn't got lacing, but it's a tiny area in comparison to the rest of it. Um, again, haven't got as much pink as I would like, but I'm going to call that one a keeper. So that's, see it's got a lot more pink in it. This one's still got a lot more orange in it. This colour here is so dominant and you can hardly see, well, the lighter orange. Where did all that go? Look, I may come back to it and do it again, but for now, let's move on and uh, do the coaster. Just wipe under there because this has been four times already, hey? So we'll see. I may I may come back to it, but I probably won't video it. So we shall see. All right, I'll pop it down here. And now I need to put you on pause again so I can change over to my little spinner. And then we'll be back. I changed my mind. I really didn't like all that orange. And, you know, I was thinking about it. I don't think I've got the dark orange in here. I think I only had the one orange. So that's the difference. I still use a little bit of that dark orange, but I'm not going to do a lot of it because I think that's what's giving me problems every time. Got some new gloves on because my others are just redonkulous after four pours. All right, let's see if I can get it this time, eh? I don't think I've ever had to do it four or five times. <clears throat> All right. Uh, transparent magenta first. Little bit of the dark orange. Yes, you. You're the culprit. Some black. Oops, that was a lot of black, wasn't it? Okay, let's go with the other orange, the lighter one, and the lighter pink, the brilliant magenta that one is, and some copper, a little bit more pink just underneath the cell activator. Oh! How about I make the two to one, hey? Um, 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 um. I've got a one to one here. If I just, I'll use that. I'll just have to weigh it and see how much is in there. Just give me one sec and then I can, hang on, I'll pause you. It's all right, you don't want to. Oh my gosh, all these pauses, sorry. 
So that cup of cell activator that was one to one, uh, when I took the cup and the stick into consideration, there was 50 grams of paint, mixed paint in there, which meant it was 25 grams of pouring medium or Fotrol and 25 grams of white. So to bring it up to two to one, I had to add, yep, 25 grams of Fotrol. So now there's 50 grams of Fotrol and 25 grams of paint. So that's a two to one. So let's try that and uh, see how we go. How do you think it's any different? Maybe my lacing won't be quite as delicate and it won't get blown around too much. Now I just have to be careful not to put too much on there because I'm pouring out of a cup. Let's see if it makes any difference, eh? skis. I probably poured a little bit too much out actually because I was pouring straight from the cup. Let's use the little guy and see if we can get any cells to come up through the metal. blow too much because I don't want to disrupt you know, the lacing around it. I'll just wait for that to come back in a little bit and fill in that big white area. So I haven't overblown any of my lacing. Hopefully I can, I didn't get to go right over the edges here so hopefully I'll be able to tilt that off. But yeah, I haven't got those long areas um, of blank paint with no lacing in it. Right, I think that will do. Otherwise, the middle ones get too big. Here we go. Plenty of paint on the surface. So pretty much after one or two spins, you know, you're covering the whole thing. Let's see if we can get the paint to go that way a little bit. Really no good with my left hand. <laughs> I just need to get that white off the bottom there. That little area there. Has it gone? Let's have a look. Mm, tiny little bit there, I'd still like to go. That copper's a lot more dominant in this one. I just can't get this one right today, you guys. Look, it's it's better. It's got a lot more pink in it. Um, yeah, it's still not like it's still not anything like my original, which was just beautiful, I think. And I don't know that I can ever recreate that. So why? try now see all the big the white that i had to begin with it's kind of got eaten up hey what do you think of the lacing at a two to one ratio it's it's sort of um what's the word it kind of looks thicker it's not as fine and delicate is it all right i think i'll leave that like that hey you guys are probably over this color scheme I don't know. Now I'm getting this purple hue there. All right, let's leave it for now and move on. Oh, I don't want to leave it. I'm still not happy with it. Why aren't I happy with it? What is the problem? What is the problem? I don't know. I don't know. It's just, it's just not gelling with me today. Not sure what the problem is. All right, we're gonna go one more time. One more and then that 
press it. I said that like two times ago, didn't I? But I don't know. I'm, I'm determined to get it right. I'm nearly out of pillow paint. This is the problem I have. If I'm not happy with something, I do it in my baking as well. I have to keep doing something over and over and over until I get it right, which can be a bit annoying. <laughs> but hey, that's who I am. All right. Um, might do the other pink, the mid Brilliant magenta on the bottom this time. And then just a little, put the lid on actually, and I can just do a little drizzle of this bright orange. So I don't want too much of it. Um, I didn't have enough black last time either, did I? I don't think I did. Put a little bit of black on. Um, actually, I'm gonna put the copper next. And then this orange. Nearly out of. And then the transparent magenta. And then my white. Try not to put too much on. One, two. Let's blow. Oh no, look what I did. Stupid woman. Got too close. too close the rest of it's amazing oh all right <laughs> I think I'm getting tired Let's see if we can get a few in here and that was probably too much white too because I've got a big puddle in the middle I should put it in my little squeeze bottle while that's sitting there I will just um, have I got another squeeze bottle I don't I'm still waiting for my squeeze bottles to come in I bought some more on Amazon. I'm still waiting for them to arrive. Now that looks, that to me looks how it should look. But this, that's going to bother me. If I pick that up and put it there. All right, here we go. You've probably all gone home, hey. <laughs> Stop watching. Because the crazy woman's going again. Now that's the colour scheme that I want. It is much better. More pink. You know, it makes a difference with the, because I changed the order of the two pinks. I put the um, transparent one on top. Actually, that's not too bad. I can, I can live with that. I can live with that. Uh, let's go one more time. I don't want to leave too much paint on the surface because it might crack. <clears throat> and if you are going to scrape it, I suggest, like if you don't want, if you want to pour over, I suggest you scrape rather than go over the top. All right, what do you think, guys? I think that's probably the closest that I've got so far to this one. Got a couple of areas there with no lacing on it but right let's keep this one i think that's as close as i'm going to get so change the order up there put the copper further down so it wasn't underneath the cell activator so it's kind of on the edges here with the orange when it dries it'll have a pretty shimmer to it yeah i don't 
love it, but I think it's the best out of all of them that I've done today. So that's a keeper. I don't think I can go again. Oh, I really don't. <sighs> Righto. Um, now, let me move that out of the way. Put my little spinner down. And my little coaster. Push him down. I'll just come up and zoom you in a little bit. Now that we've gone to a smaller one. Oh, 40 minutes, oh my gosh. Hopefully I can get this one done in one spin, hey? There we go. Right. So I'm going to use the pillow paint that's in here because it's much easier just to pour a little bit out. Whoops, what am I getting stuck on? What are you getting stuck on, hey? Oh, hopefully it'll be all right. I think it's got a little bit of dry paint underneath that's getting stuck. Right, let's do the same order. I'll just put my little nozzles back on because I only need a drop. Make sure that you clean your nozzles afterwards. Um, tiny little blob of you. You're the culprit, aren't you? You're the naughty paint. You gave me grief for the first... How many times did I do that now, you guys? I don't even know. A little bit of black. I think it was five, wasn't it? Oh, so sorry. I don't normally take that long. But I am going to go to the trouble of resining these. Time and the expense and all that of resining them. So I do want them to be... I want to be happy with them, you know? Put that one on. I don't want to res it and think, oh, I don't like that. I wish I had redone it. going on here? Have I got the wrong nozzles on? I think I put the wrong nozzles on and there was paint in the inside. Oh, goodness me, I'm just having a bad day today. I think that one was the, um, I had the copper nozzle on that one. Swap nozzles. Copper and orange, they both look very similar. I put the wrong one on. Okay, here we go. There's our pink. That's the brilliant magenta, that one. Um, now, I do need to use the three to one with the little one because I'm only using my little fan blower. And he's not very strong and you might have trouble with the thicker CA. Hopefully I can get away with just doing this once. I don't know what set my dogs off. They're barking in the background. Okay. That was a good blow. For my little guy, just give that a minute. I don't know what started them off. They've heard something. And then if I don't go to them, then they start to howl. And if one howls, then they all start howling. And you don't want howling dogs on a Sunday morning. <laughs> oh. right, that's looking pretty good. I don't think I'm going to have to do it twice. Unless I stick my finger in it or something. getting stuck a little bit. I must have some dried paint underneath there. Well, I have got that, look at that big area there. I'll have to try and spin that off. I 
a oh, little bit's gone. Go the other way. Okay, I'm going to leave it like that. I know there's a tiny little bit there, but I don't really want to overstretch. Mm, no, go one more time. And get a proper hold of it. Whoops! Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm not going to go again with that one. I'm quite happy with that. I think it matches the big one really well. I've got the pink, I've got the orange, got the black. Let's pick him up. Okay, there we go. Little ones are always a little bit tricky, you know, to get the balance of colours everywhere because they're so little. Right, let's put him over here. Okay, let's give my hands a bit of a, actually I'll take these gloves off, but I need to use them again to clean up my, oh no, I can't take them off. Righto, let's go down for a close up. That was a mammoth effort that was, that was hard work you guys. Thanks for sticking by me, those that are still here. It's a bit glary this morning, so there we go. They do match nicely. Wasn't exactly what I had in my head for these two, but I can see pink, I can see orange, I can see black. The black, I find that if when you're using pale colours like pinks and oranges and things, you really need to have that black you know, to define the, the light colours. Otherwise it's just a bit too kind of wishy-washy and pastely looking. So that's the two to one cell activator on the big one. It tends to keep the lacing, you know, a little bit, a little bit thicker. Um, that's the three to one, but only because my little blow is not very powerful and um, it wouldn't be able to blow around a, a thicker CA. So there we go, that's them. What do you think? Do you like them? <laughs> oh, all right. I need to clean up this mess. And I set up for my next one. I'm gonna go pinks and greens for the next one, all right. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry, so sorry, 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 sorry if I've bored you to tears with pouring that five times, all right. See you all soon. Bye for now.